After clinical examination, and deciding treatment plan, here we start with the impression making. And for impression making, we will need impression tray, if using alginate, you can use alginate mixer also. Otherwise ball and spatula will be fine. Impression tray, defined as, a device used to carry, confine, and control impression material while making the impression. And function is to hold, and carry impression materials to the mouth, for obtaining a replica of the teeth and oral structure. However there are, various types of impression trays available, we can simply select, the metal non-perforated, and perforated stock tray for complete denture. In complete denture procedure both, perforated and non-perforated stock tray will be used. Both the trays are autoclavable, and available in different sizes, and can be modified by using pliers. When choosing alginate as an, impression material, you will use the perforated one, and for impression compound, you will select non-perforated tray. Basically, you have to keep in mind the cross section of the tray for selection, for a dentulus it will have, rounded cross section, and squarish cross section for, dentulus patient. Other than metal, plastic impression tray are also used, it can be molded by putting them into hot water. Custom tray, are individualized tray, fabricated from the patient's primary cast, made up of cold cure acrylic, it might be painted with the adhesive for added retention. For the purpose of taking alginate impression, you can either use bowl and spatula, take it in proper proportion and rub it against the bowl, till proper consistency, or either you can use this alginator machine, it will give a very homogeneous consistency, and enable, granny less accurate impression. Once we made the primary impression, now we need to do some, lab procedure prior to making master impression. This involves making of primary cast, and fabrication of custom tray. Preliminary cast is defined as, a positive reflection of the upper and lower jaw tissue, that is made in an impression, and over which, impression tray is fabricated. Instrument, equipment required will be, plaster spatula, rubber ball, plaster knife, model trimmer, plaster dispenser, and vibrator. Custom tray, is receptacle device, which is used to carry the material in the mouth, confine the material position in the mouth, control the flow of the material. This custom tray could be fabricated by using, any of this material, selic, whole cure, or, polystyrene sheet. Now, we will talk about, various lab equipment you should be familiar with. This item is present in your lab. Plaster dispenser, its function is to store and dispense required amount of plaster, it provide moist free environment. Next is, vacuums mixer, it is used to mix plaster and investment material. Its main feature is, to provide the bubble free, homogeneous mixture mixing time ranges between 30, 255 second for example, gypsum is mixed at, 30 second at 450, RPM vibra vibrator, are the equipment, used to remove the air, reduce void during pouring the cast. During pouring, impression is placed on flat top working surface of vibrator, as gypsum material is poured into it. Vibrator increases density of mix by eliminating air bubbles. Now we are ready, to take the secondary impression. And this involve, evaluation of special tray, border molding, tray preparation for wash impression, and making wash impression. During custom tray evaluation, we will be requiring, acrylic trimmer, if further reduction is required, to make space for, border, molding material. And during border molding, we require, sets of rubber ball, green stick material, spirit lamp, PPP blade, and alcohol torch. After border molding we need to make some hole, as in between the custom tray. For this we do require, straight for shabbers. And during mixing, we will need, cement mixing spatula, glass slab, mixing pad and then we can take the wash impression.